you can get a lot done in a short amount of time with Nifty's List View. And in this video, we're going to cover not only List View, but we're going to cover Bulk Select and how to use custom fields as a column in List View. So just to get us up to speed, what we've done here is create a project for this event planning. And we've kind of come in and brain dumped all of our tasks into two key lists. We have our maybe our attendees oriented tasks and our location and catering oriented tasks. We also have a milestone in this project, pre-event. So this is going to be everything we need to do leading up to this event. But we can see that the tasks aren't tied to this milestone. So if we complete them, the progress will not be reflected in the project on a milestone level. So let's change that first. I can go task by task and tie these to the milestone, but I'm going to do bulk select. So what I'm going to do is hold down my shift key and I am going to click the first and last task. And now I have selected all of them. We can see my bulk bar appears. And this is going to give us all of the options we can do. So we have the ability to complete all of these tasks, assign them to a person, change the due date, tie them to a milestone. That's the one we want. We've got archiving and deleting these tasks. So let's just tie these to that pre-event milestone and we can see all of that populate right here. And all these tasks are going to automatically pick up the due date of the milestone. But maybe we want some of these tasks to be due a little bit earlier. So I can get rid of all of these tasks selected by either hitting this little minus button next to all the selected tasks or I can hit my escape key. Okay, so maybe we wanna change some of these due dates these specifically. So I'm going to go ahead and change these and say I want these to be due a little earlier. Let's put these due at the end of September, give us a little bit of time. And now you see I can actually make these changes in the cell. I don't have to use the action buttons here in the bottom bulk bar. So really whatever works for you, um, go crazy. Next, I want to select specific tasks here and assign them to specific people. For example, we have design invitations and design the thank you bag. So maybe we want to attach a designer to this. And I'm going to assign these to Emily. She's our designer. And I'm actually going to give these a tag. Let's add our design tag here as well. And what I did to do that was I held down my command key uh, here on my Mac. And that would be a control key on a Windows. Okay. So we've got this. It's coming along really easily, huh? Um, okay, so lastly, let's make sure all of these different tasks have an assignee. So we're going to click the rest and assign these to David. So now what we've really broken out who needs to do what, uh, added some tags, some due dates, and a milestone really quickly. Save ourselves from going on a task-by-task -task basis. And again, that was by using our bulk select actions. Um, we can also do things now that we have a little bit more information in these task lists. So, if, for example, we can sort. By clicking on these, I can sort by assignee, uh, by due date, I can sort by tags, by milestone. I can even collapse these lists and drag them around if I want to reorder this. So the really inherent tools in list view make it a lot easier to go about your work day. Make sure that's cleared. Now what I want to do is talk about our custom fields here. Because maybe some of these tasks have a cost tied to them, and we want to know what that cost is. Um, if you're in Kanban view, you'll be going into a task, but here you're actually able to create or implement a custom field. So let's add one and let's call this one cost. And that way we know what the cost of these are. And I'm going to make this a currency field using US dollars. So now we have a cost field here. We can see that column really just came right in. And if I want to remove this, I can remove it entirely, I can edit it, or I can hide it, which means it doesn't delete the field, rather it just gets it off of the actual table here. But we want it. And I want to be able to give certain values here. So I'm going to say um, the actual invitations, designing the invitations will cost $300, and the thank you bag will cost $500, and the caterer is actually going to ask for a $4,000 deposit. So I can really easily put in these numbers here. And since we are sorting by our custom field, that's why these are floating to the top. So you can really see how using the sort fe features and drag and drop of list view, the bulk actions, and by using our custom field columns, we can really bring list view to life and make it our hub for activity.